Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be replacing a fuel peacock on a GY6 Chinese scooter. Now the peacock that's on this scooter okay, only opens up through vacuum. Okay, which is there's a tube hooked to the intake manifold and it goes up to the peacock and when the scooter runs okay the, the rubber diaphragm inside the peacock opens up to allow fuel from the gas tank to the carburetor now it is bad so let me show you all right so right here is the peacock this line this this uh, clear plastic tubing here fuel line goes from here to the bottom of the gas tank and this line right here goes from the from the bottom of the peacock all the way to the carburetor to deliver fuel to the carburetor. And right over here, you can see that right here, sorry, right here is a vacuum line, okay, and it runs all the way down and it and it hooks to the intake manifold right here. Now there has been fuel, a little bit of fuel into this vacuum line here. And there's actually not supposed to be any fuel in this vacuum line. Now, I'm going to disconnect this fuel line here. All right. Now, if anybody has the same if anybody has the same setup as I have here, clear plastic tubing, all right? And the tubing is onto the onto the nipple of the peacock here and it's on here but to the point you can't get it off even if you wiggle back and forth and pull down and it still doesn't take uh come off you get yourself a piece of cardboard like this okay you basically fold it in half almost almost like a book and then you take a pair of locking pliers okay then what you do you put the piece of cardboard like this and then you basically crimp it nice and easy, okay? Then you wiggle it off, pull it down, wiggle like that, and then it comes off. And if you have, and now it will, now it'll, it won't damage. Sorry, it won't damage the tubing when you do that. You just have to squeeze it a little bit to reform it. All right. So now, in order for me to get this top fuel, top clear plastic fuel line off, I repeat the same step. I put the piece of cardboard over the tubing like this take the ply our channel lock pliers carefully do this then i go ahead and I wiggle wiggle it up it takes a little effort it does just keep wiggling up and boom now a little bit of gas is going to come out it's okay just try to set that aside like so all right now in order for me to get this peacock off this is a eight millimeter bolt eight millimeter bolt okay got my self extension ratchet and take it off this okay now now to take the vacuum tubing off in the back okay same thing you just pull down comes off like that then I then I could just take my fingers and unscrew the rest of the bolt the rest of the way and take that off now here's the old one okay and not only that if you disconnect the tubing that goes from here to the carburetor if you take it down and there's gas dripping out of here which there was which is very little so a little bit of gas that's also the, uh, that's also letting you know or showing you that the peacock is bad so all right so here is this is a used slash new peacock this is the old, this is the peacock right here and I'm tapping that I just took off. This is the new one, okay? Now, the same setup, go the same setup in reverse, okay? This is an eight millimeter bolt, goes through. Tighten up this way. And if anybody does this with a, with a uh, battery power drill with extension, okay, and eight millimeter socket just be careful because if you over tighten it you could strip it out because this this peacock is supposedly soft aluminum it could actually damage it so i just screw it in all the way until, until i can't screw it no more like that tongue lift it up just a little bit and i go ahead and i tighten it up not too tight like that now i take the fuel line going from the bottom of the gas tank to here so I put this right 
Switch down like that. Now I can go ahead and disconnect the clamp. See, does that, doesn't even hurt it. You just have to reform it like this, as long as fuel can still go through. Now, this one right here is the carburetor. This one goes to the bottom of the petcock. Okay, same exact way. Wiggle, push, and boom, that one's on. To the uh, other, this is the vacuum tube, which goes right here and goes up like that. Another thing, um, I can't start the scooter because the fuse that I had in it popped. It was it was just due to ground wire fix that. That was no big deal. But I don't have any more fuses, so I cannot start the scooter up to show you. I'm very sorry for that. So that's it for the video. So like, comment, share, subscribe. See you next video. Peace.